Okay, um, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing another video blog. Just gonna stop with these. But anyways, okay, so here's what um here's the reason I wanted to do a video blog is because I wanted to explain why I wrote a cliffhanger. Because I get a lot of emails about my cliffhanger, and I know it's so frustrating, and I swear I didn't write it to, to make you guys angry. I, I promise. I promise. Um, okay, so here's here's the reason why. I because I did deliberately write a cliffhanger. It's not like I just got tired writing and just I'm like, oh screw it, we'll just end the we'll end the book right there. I didn't I didn't do that. It was it was on purpose. But um, the reason I wrote a cliffhanger is because I think because I I, I wanted my readers to care. And, um, cause that's the thing. That's why we don't like cliffhangers because they, they leave us without resolution for things that we, uh, you know, that, that we really feel passionately about, you know, they, they, they leave us hanging. And, um, I mean, it's the reason that lots of TV shows end their, their seasons with cliffhangers and, and series of movies do the same thing. And I think that what happens when, when you, when you invest your time into like a book or a movie or a TV show or something that has a cliffhanger at the end. I think the reason that it evokes such an emotion out of us is because we care. We want the characters to be okay, and we care about their choices, and we care if they're gonna, you know, live or die, or choose that guy or that guy, or um, we care. And I, I wrote a cliffhanger for new because I wanted my readers to decide right then and there, at the very end of the new. I wanted readers to to turn that last page and scream, and then go. I care about Scarlett. I care about Gabriel and Tristan or whoever else um, because it kind of lets you know how how important the story is to you. And so, as much as I'm really sorry that <laughs> that my cliffhanger was not satisfying, you know, because I left you guys hanging, I'm I'm really really um, honored that so many people care, and because uh, that's huge. I mean, that means that my characters came to life in in the hearts of my readers, and it means that my characters took on a reality that, that it's totally fictitious, but that my readers were allowed to get immersed in. And um, so anyways, I'm so sorry about my cliffhanger. I'm sorry that it, that it makes you guys angry, and I'm sorry that it leaves you with so many questions, and I'm sorry that, um, I'm sorry for all the people who, who read it and liked the whole book except for the end, because that breaks my heart a little. Um, but I am so grateful for how much you care about my characters. So that's why I wrote a cliffhanger. It's totally okay to hate me because of it. Um, but I'm not going to promise. I'm not going to do it again. I might do it again. Who knows? But at least you know you care. Okay. Anyways, so that's it. Just wanted to sum it up. Um, please don't hate me. Okay. And I love your guts. Bye.